What is Ebon Sense? Ebon Sense is the largest online marketplace for service providers that offers services to customers, from housekeeping to simple carpentry. Or it could be that your car broke down and you want a mechanic. Or you could be the person who has the skill. Well, do not hold your back. Join App and Sense today. Join millions of other people that are using App and Sense to get things done. We are here to bridge the gap between a service provider and customer from the comfort of your fingertips. Join App and Sense today by simply going to www. AppInSenseGlobal.com or download the app both on Play Store for Android and App Store for your iOS to sign up today. AppInSense solution at your fingertips. Release yourself from order and logic and enter a new place. It's not work, it's not home. Yeah, no maps have been drawn, no books have been written, nothing is certain, everything is possible. Welcome to Podcast and Chill with Matt G. I'm assuming this doesn't end well. Inda, Barimini, welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen, special guest in the building. I never thought you'd make it, but he's fucking here. <laughs> I can just see all the subscribers saying like, what? Is that Shimza? Yes, it is, motherfuckers. Yeah, it is me. <laughs> I'm here. Who am I interviewing today? Shimza or Ashley? Both. <laughs> Both. It's up to you which, which one you want. Because I don't like Shimza, but I like Ashley. I love Ashley. It's cool. <laughs> That's rocks. I know, I know you have problems with Shimza, <laughs> which I don't really know where that shit comes from, but it's it's cool, man. Uh, so listen, you, you're straight out of Portugal. You just come from Portugal, yeah, no? Yeah, I, I, I just did a... I've been away for like three weeks. Yeah. Um, I did Portugal, Ibiza. Um, you had sure. Coachella. Yeah. No, 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 I did Coachella. Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. Yeah. So it's been quite an up and down, man. So, dude, tell me about Tomorrowland, dude. Nah, man, Fucking that's hell. that's that's another world, man. You know when you that's think that's one of festival I want to go to, bro. It's it's not one of the best. It's the best festival you could ever go to yeah. because it's like a. It's like an open field during the year, yeah. uh, like a park. Yeah. And then every year they just keep building on that park to suit the festival. So that so park is only for Tomorrowland? It's for Tomorrowland. Wow. Dude, it's, it's amazing, man, how the stages are like over the top. You know, there's no small stage there. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. small stage there is big stage headlines. that could be like a main stage for the biggest festivals in the and world. And it was your first one, eh? It was my first one there. Um, I was taken there by Budweiser, which was quite dope, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, next year you're going to be playing, obviously. Yeah, I played it. this year. You played this year? I played year? this year Shit. for the Budweiser, um, the Brew District uh, th- area. Yeah. And the next year, obviously, I want to do, like, bigger stages and yeah. stuff. So. But anyway, we'll get into that yeah. later on. Um, because one thing I want to say to you is um, I respect you coming through. Sure. Because sure. I didn't think you'd come after all the shit I've been saying about you. I thought, I, you know... <laughs> When, so for that, I respect yeah, you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw what you said with Pegzin, and I was like, I, I don't understand where that shit comes from. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. We've had a good relationship. It's just that we haven't been speaking as as often as we would like to. Yeah. You know, but but I tell just, me what, and that's what, why I sent you a message. I was yeah, like, yeah, you did. Like, yeah. I'm seeing this shit. What's going on? And you're like, Yeah, it's the truth. I was like, It's cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You must deal with your own demons. And I'm not going to <laughs> entertain you. You know, so I was like, Whenever, and you know, anytime you call me. I'll be here, man. So, um, when you heard all that stuff, yeah, because obviously, me and you, we pretty much started uh, the industry same time together. Yeah, uh, I was starting at Y, you were starting your DJing career. So, when you heard all of that stuff that I said with Begzin, what was going through your mind? I was like, th- I never want to entertain like rubbish. You know, mm. I don't, I don't like, I don't take rubbish, mm. but I don't like entertaining that shit. You know, I'm like. If there's if there's anything that I did to maybe offend you or anything, you should have been the first person to call me and say, "Hey, Shimi, what's what the fuck are you doing? Mm. You know, like, mm. what's wrong? Why are you treating me like this or whatever?" And I address it because mm. sometimes you you take offense with someone that's probably concentrating on other stuff, mm. you know, and mm. and you 
you just take offense and keep it in and you could have just called me if I did anything wrong to mm. you you know mm. so when you said all of that stuff I was like hey, maybe he's angry for something but I know I didn't do anything intentionally to, yes, to, yes. to fuck up our relationship yeah. so I was like it's cool man I think we'll meet up whenever and that's why I sent you the message and that was me reaching out to yeah. find out what, what was wrong what's going know? on yeah when you were like ah it's the truth I was like hey, this guy probably doesn't want to chat so it's yeah. fine because you know? my yeah. thing is dog I'll tell you from my t- uh, side of the story yeah. um, like I said we started together and then obviously you know in this industry it's you know if you scratch your back I scratch your back yeah, yeah, type yeah. of vibes yeah. you know uh, but with you I thought it was different yeah so my whole to make a long story short I felt like you were like a true friend like yeah. you were like a younger brother to me you understand I mean I have introduced you to my cousins and my family yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, you know yeah, yeah. And that's how close I thought we were and then I felt like after um, I got fired after you fucked up yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that relationship just ended right there. You understand? Yeah. Uh, because obviously, I felt like okay, now I can't scratch your back because I'm not popping, uh, and, and 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 I can't do the stuff maybe that I used to do to uh, for you when I was at Y. And because I'm no longer at Y, now you're no longer friends with me. So I was like, oh, okay, so all this whole time, this guy was an industry friend, and that's where my disappointment came in terms of like I thought we were brothers. Not just industry friends. You know, there's industry friends when yeah, you meet in the I club. You like, hey, 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 hey. But I thought with us, the the bond was deeper. Sure, which which was deeper. Yeah. You know, but when when you've scratched my back, I used to come to you and say, my guy, please scratch my back. Yes, yes. Please put me on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And when when it was my turn to scratch your back, you never came to me and said, boys in. I'm struggling. Please mm. scratch my back. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, I, McG is probably cool. I'm seeing 94.7. Yeah, you got fired from Y. You had 94.7. Yeah. You're doing this. So I'm like, okay, nigga is cool. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah. okay. Yeah. It was my fault to probably not call and say, Ntwana, are you okay? Yeah, you know, yeah. what's, what's up? Like, And you would obviously open up to me. But because you kept quiet, I kept quiet. And I thought you were okay, but you were offended. You know? See, that's why I don't understand that because... Before I got fired, for example, this is yeah. just one example. You'd put me on your lineup for all your gigs, yeah, and vice versa. Yeah, but then once I got fired, th- you've never put me on your lineup at any gig. And honestly speaking, I've got a lot of um, friends that are probably not on my lineups, mm. like half the time. You know, I'm I'm not trying to play a. A pity party, yeah. running a business, man, mm, and mm. I wanna put people on that a will sell tickets for me. Yeah, you know, and friendship aside, sometimes, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. and I, I can't be that guy that that's gonna call you, hey, Ndwana, can I put you on, knowing that you should be actually calling me to say, Ndwana, <laughs> please put me on, you know, <laughs> you yeah. know. So, like, it's it's the same attitude I've always had with you when when Rock the Girls was like big. I used to hound you, man. And yeah, like, dude, you did put you me did. on, man. Yeah. You know, put me on, and I feel like. Niggas feel like they they you 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 owe them, you yeah. Know? And yeah. I honestly don't owe you shit, though. Yeah, you know yeah. I don't owe you anything. Yeah. And if you feel I've got some some value that I can add to your life, mm. it's up to you to come up to me and say, "Ndwana, please help me," and I will help you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But if you keep quiet and you think I must then figure out that you are struggling, yeah. it's not gonna happen. Man. Yeah, I think it's yeah. also. It sounds to me like it's a bit of m- miscommunication. Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm saying. If if you you heard me through what you said, mm. and I picked up the phone and I mm. said, "Ndwana, what what is this?" You know, mm. and you gave me exactly what you thought it was, mm. and I don't see why you could not have picked up the phone and say, "Ndwana, you are not booking me for your gigs." Mm. I then have that thing to say, "Oh shit, MacGyver reached out. I need to put him on, mm. whether you're selling tickets or not, because mm. you're my brother." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, yeah. water under the bridge, <laughs> man. We here now. Are you going to yeah, book me yeah, in yeah, Portugal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sell tickets in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So let's talk about you. Enough about that shit now. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your beginning. I know you started uh, because of a DJ competition you won. Yeah. 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 Tell me more about that. 
I mean, I've always been a guy that's a go-getter, mm. you know. I mean, with even with how I started DJing, I used to go to, like, stock fairs in the hood, yeah. sit there by the DJ and just watch what the DJs were doing, you know. Mm. And I, back then, I didn't understand that even that was, like, me teaching myself how to DJ. Which DJs were rocking at the time? It was DJ Tor Santos. Yeah. Um, he used to bring, like, a lot of big DJs to our hood, like yeah. Mbuso, oh, okay. you know, your China. Yeah. Everyone So I used to be At all of these parties And how old are you At that time oh, Dude like maybe 12 What 13. Yeah I was And you knew This is the shit I want to yeah, do Yeah it was It was it was quite interesting For me yeah. You know And I'd be that guy That has a DJ name On my school bag And shit You yeah, know yeah, when, yeah. when niggas are Thinking about being doctors I'm like I, I honestly don't know What I want to be Yeah yeah But yeah. I think I like this thing yeah, You know Yeah yeah So that's how Everything just Just started man. And then how what made you want to enter the DJ competition? Which competition was it, by the uh, way? The first competition that I won um, was in Ivory Park, mm. you know. And Dino Bravo was was the was the the judge, mm. you know. And I was I I won that competition, but it was not like a, a huge thing, you know. It was in a community hall. It was after a beauty pageant, you know. Yeah. Um, and then the next one that I won was the um, South African Music Conference one. Oh you know, yes, DJ Fresh, yes, 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 yes. And DJ U. That, yeah, DJ U. So mm. I think that's the one that obviously opened up some doors because a lot of industry people were there. Yeah. To, to learn one to network and I was exposed to some of the bookers that were there you know because yeah. the so first time I heard you play I was like fuck this kid is crazy man yeah, yeah, I could yeah. never want to play after Shims hey when you <laughs> 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 yeah so I, I used to be a very, I'm, I'm still a very technical DJ and it's because I put in a lot of work yeah, in, you do, in, yeah. in, in, in practicing you know when I started and that helped me mm. with understanding exactly what I'm dealing with you know so even today like I I I still think I'm I'm a bit yeah yeah. Cool. yeah. And then when did you start working with the uh, Solistic? Solistic I think it was 2013. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so you've already been, been in the game now. Yeah, so I was wow. already in, you know, and we were doing a lot of stuff with uh, Black Coffee and, and the Solistic brand, you know, um, in terms of DJing events and stuff, you know, and it it made sense to sort of... Align yourself. Have, yeah, align myself and have them uh, help me with my, my, my album because yeah. I liked the music that they used to put out, you know. So did you and do an album with Solistic? Yeah, did it? My, f- my first and last album was... Wow. Oh. With, with Solistic, you know. Yeah. Um, so musically, they helped me even with the brand. You know, they they really pushed a lot. Yeah. Um, and obviously, the association with Black Coffee helped me even with the local scene. You yeah. Because people take you seriously when you. With what 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 happened with Solistic? What did you leave? Um, with Solistic, man, I just I just I just grew out of it, man. Mm. Yeah, I grew out of it, and I felt like I don't like having to ask someone else for an opinion with with stuff that i want to do as a mm. brand you know, i wanna i wanna move man yeah you know, i wanna i wanna do shit at my own pace yeah. at my own time you don't want to answer to anyone i don't want to have a boss mm. you know so and i thought yeah it's 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 cool mm. you know um they've helped me and i'm grateful for that but it was time for me to move and that's where i set up my own office and I found someone that. Not your office now, Shim. You got an office now, dude. Like an office is not <laughs> an office <laughs> with twenty thousand people. An office is just a person with a laptop and a phone, you know. And I've got that person, and I've got okay. I've got. I'm employing three people now. Yeah, yeah, you know, cheers. So, yeah, so it's it's an office. But that whole solistic move for me, right? From afar, it looked like. You know um, what that saying, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, all right, cool. Black Coffee so Shims is coming with fire. So in order for him not to surpass surpass me, I need to have him close here. So that he's always under me, under my umbrella. I think that's that's a... That's a generic way of how people saw that move, mm. you know. And but for me and him, it was never about that. Well, for from my side, mm. you know. And mm. I think even from his side, it was like, I I can help this boy grow 
quicker than he would if he was alone ah, you know because I, I have a brand that he can leverage off because yeah. at the end of the day black off is a big big deal you know and people but also the djing scene is competitive as yeah well. exactly i i get that i get that but I don't think he he would think like that. Mm, you know, um, mm. He brought me in so that he could add value into my my relationship, and he did, you know. And even when I left, it was it was cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what's your take on Amabiano? What do you think about Amabiano? Um, it's something that we should be proud of, you mm. know, as as South Africa, because it's something very unique mm. that that we are we are putting out yeah. i just feel like some of the music needs more creativity okay um the music needs to 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 grow you know and i like what maporisa did with his album with kabza yeah. you know Fire and album. which is exactly what black coffee did with me mm. it was like there's this sound that's big kabza is there and he's growing but i can he can leverage off my brand mm, and I can and help him elevate it. Yeah. Mm. I can help him structure the music properly and it will elevate him. And that's what it did mm. to, to, to Gabza, you know. And some people look at it as leeching off him or mm. or like he saw competition and he was exactly the story that mm. you, you were saying with Black Coffee, but I I think it was a, it was a good thing, and, and you can hear it in the music because you can hear the sounds that uh, Maporis is adding to exactly uh, Gabs's production, which is n- m- amplifying and making the sound better. Exactly. Even with me and Black Coffee, when mm. I was DJing, I used to be too much on the effect. And shit, <laughs> yeah, I you know? remember. I taught him. I taught him some of the stuff that he knows. He knows that he he learned it. I think he even tweeted like in 29 or something. Yeah. I've got the tweet in yeah. my archive somewhere where he's like, "I met Joe's Butcher and I'm learning a thing or two from Shimza." Yes. You know. So it's it's a give and take, man. Mm. You you learn, and if you're ever going to think, "Yeah, this one is bringing me closer because he wants to um, suppress me or whatever," that's, that's would you say you're an opportunist? I'm, I'm a businessman. Mm. I'm not an opportunist. That's a nice way of saying yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a businessman, not, a, not an opportunist. But I mean, honestly speaking, if it makes business sense, and that is the model that makes you successful, what's the problem? Yeah, but I, I don't think there's... That's why there's, there's a difference between being an opportunist and a business person mm. for me from mm. my side you know mm. Mm. being an opportunist is like I can kill MacGyver I don't care as long mm. as I get what I, I want mm. business for me is like okay how can I work with MacGyver to mm. achieve what you want exactly mm. you know mm. so I'm a businessman not a not a would you ever do a piano track Nah, I don't think so. Why not? Um, even though I'm working on a remix for one of the songs, yeah. and I don't think that song is a my piano song. The yeah, Amanto yeah. Bazani with with Kabza the small and yeah, my polish yeah, yeah. That that for me is like if that's my piano, then that's like private school my piano you know because I love that song man, you yeah, know, it's so too dope it's yeah, too dope I'm, I'm working and on you can that. hear when my purisa comes in exactly. with the with the yeah with the sounds so it's 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 more about working with each other yeah. more than anything man. Yeah. Uh, who are some of the people you never work with I would never work with mm. Mm. I would never work with opportunistic people and I, I spot that from a mile away is it yeah I, yeah. Can, I can see when someone is would you say Prince KB is that Prince KB is doing his own thing, man. Mm. He's talented in his own right, and he works with the people that he wants to work with. Would you ever work with him? I wouldn't mind working with him mm. because I don't think he's an opportunist. Mm. You know, he's what happened with you guys? I didn't. I actually didn't get the beef. It was I wasn't so following stupid, it, man. It was so fucking stupid. <laughs> like it was the worst thing ever. Like it feels weird hearing Shimmy swear, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I do say sometimes. Because I always think of you like a saint. Ah, I'm the, not. This is the only DJ who doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. Ah, he doesn't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened with Prince KB was that uh, I think the year before that whole shit started, yeah. I got that club controller. So yes, yes. I got it from Tira. Mm. So he sent it to me. I was like, Tira, I need, I need pumping songs because mm. that's when Goma was like, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. you know. So I was like, and I it's have, festive that yeah, time. I have my one man show coming, mm, you mm. know, and I want to have the, the, the hottest shit mm. so that I can, I can push at the and, festival. And you can rock. And Tira sends me the song. He was like, dude, I play this all the damn time and mm. it works all mm. the time. I listen to the song. I'm like, fuck, this is hot. This is fire. You know, mm. it doesn't have a name. Mm. So I even edit the song I'm mm. like um, 
Just a file yeah, name. Yeah, DJ Tira Beat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I named it Tira Beat. Beat actually. Yeah. yeah. And my one man show comes. I think I played that song about five times. Yeah, because it was rocking. People didn't know the song. Yeah. I, yeah. It was my. I got the song the week of my show. Mm. You know, so if I didn't know the song, mm. no one else knew. Yeah. I played that song five times at my show, mm. and every time I played that song. People went, went crazy. Nuts. Yeah, like people went crazy, you yeah. know. And I was like, this song is probably going to be the biggest song ever. Wow. So I'm rocking this song, first day of 31st. The next year goes by, I'm playing the song crazily, you know, on my mixes. Mm, mm. And I still you, don't know whose song it is. You're pushing it. You're yeah, pushing I'm it, pushing yeah. it. So one day, Oskido asks me, he's like, dude, there's a song. Mo mm. asks me, there's a song that you keep playing, man. What is, what's the name of the song? And I'm like, dude, honestly speaking, I don't know whose song this is, mm. um, but it's causing chaos. Mm. How? Two weeks later, I check my, my, my Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Prince KB blocked me. You know, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we have a we have a group like a, a a group with like some DJs, and then someone raised it, and mm. he was like, you know, guys, Prince KB blocked me because um, they asked me if uh, club con. Okay, it was not club control yeah. at that time. You know, there's this song that I played, and someone asked me, and I said I didn't know. So it clicked with me that I know I didn't I didn't do anything to mess up my relationship with Prince KB. Mm. So this is the only problem he might have had because yeah. he probably listened to my show on Metro, you know? So I was like, okay, cool. This is like stupid. Did you ever call him at that time to ask I him what's going on? I sent him a message, dog. Hey, you like sending messages? Why don't you call, dog? Ah, so, <laughs> like, I can't be that guy now. Ah, fuck that, dog. You responded, so anyone else can also respond. It's not like you don't see the messages. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You sent him a message. Yeah, and then... Um, what happened? Oh, yeah. And then I was like, this guy blocked me. Yeah. You know, and I was like, this is such a princess move. You know, why <laughs> why are we fighting over me not knowing whose song it is? And yeah. you now offended because you didn't send me the song. Mm. I got the song from somewhere else. And now you offended that I don't know that it's your song. Yeah. And then you're going to block me. You know, so I went on Twitter and I was like, ah, this guy is being a dick. <laughs> You know, I don't understand why he's going to block me because I didn't know that this was his song. And then this whole thing became a big hoo-ha. People thought I was jealous of the song. You know how people are. Yeah. And have you met him since? I sent him a message. I and I was like, dude, we need to fucking stop this shit. Yeah. You know, like, why are we going to beef over a song that's probably going to die off in two years? You mm. know, we should be leading by example with other kids. And I remember... Um, he had changed his number, mm -hmm. but I sent him a WhatsApp, and I was like, "Dude, let's leave this rubbish," you know. Yeah. And um, I saw that it had one tick on WhatsApp, okay. yeah. so I went on to Twitter, yeah. and I was like, "Guys, I sent this message to Prince KB. If he does see it, because I think he blocked me on 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 WhatsApp as well. Mm. If he does see it, just make sure that he knows that I'm not there anymore, mm. you know." So he reached out on the side, and he was like, "Yeah, um, yeah, I saw your message. You've so he called my, you, ne? yeah? You've mm. got my." He didn't call me, sent a message. Okay. Um, you've got my old number, mm. and we call. You know? you so, cool. yeah, yeah, ever since we've, we've been cool, man. So, you guys will rock at the same gig? Ah, dude. Yeah. But even when he had his own problems, I would have still rocked with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I but you, I man. think a lot of these beefs and, and stuff, man, they're caused by miscommunication. Mm. Who said this? Who's doing that? Who's know? not booking who? Yeah, man. <laughs> fuck that, man. <laughs> Uh, and how do you how do you prepare for your sets, man? Because I know you go searching for music, like you're saying, you call everybody. Yeah, I I, I don't prepare as in like this is what I want to play after this, mm. but I I I ask for music from a lot of people, you know. And when I get the music, I sort of s surf the music and say, okay, cool, this I'll I'll play when I start. This I'll play in the middle. This I know. So you have a day where you're just listening to music. I listen to music all the time in yeah. the car. I yeah. listen to new music. I listen to all the emails that are sent to me, and I yeah. just get the the cool stuff that I think I would play. Yeah. And then when you play in SA, and then when you're playing overseas, is it two different shims as well? It's the same sound. 
it's a similar sound. Okay. It's not the same. Yeah. Um, I know that back here at home, I need to to compromise to some degree mm. in terms of um, when the home sound was big. I know that I need to play s- songs that are are stronger. Mm. You know, Moving. like with yeah, with with drums. Like mm. when you're playing in in Durban, yeah. it's quite different. Like when you're playing, playing in, in Joburg, mm. you know. So I treat it that way, and that way, I make sense to each and every audience that I play for. So you read the crowd. I read the crowd all the time. Mm. Yeah, like. I've got a mix that I did in Ibiza this week while I was playing like my live set, you mm. know. And I w- when I started playing, there was no one in the club. Yeah, you know, there was yeah. no one. Oh, I club. love that. Yeah. Oh, you know, I love when, I was, when you're building. And bro. I was just building. And yeah. People started walking oh. in, and the dance floor is sort of like empty. People are going to the bar because they still wanna. They don't Getting wanna the be the vibe. first one yeah, on the floor, yeah. you know. And I saw some guys dancing from like a distance, you know. And I was like, I need to get those guys onto the dance floor because if I have them there and Everybody, I keep them there, yeah. everyone else will come. So I played a song and they came on the dance floor and I was like, damn, I've got them. So I went a bit hard to mm. keep them there and to get more people on the dance floor, which happened. No? And then this guy comes and he's like, Shimza, um, you're a bit too hard <laughs> for, for the time. you know." Yeah. And I was like, dude, I know what yeah. the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I need to start this party. I yeah. need to be the guy that's playing. Look a at role the dance floor. In, yeah, mm. you know. And once I had everyone on the dance floor, I could then take them anywhere I wanted. Isn't that the nicest feeling ever? It's as a the DJ? best feeling ever. Dude, I ever. keep telling people, bro. Yeah, and I was opening I, and building. I looked for that guy, oh. and I was like, dude. I knew what the fuck I was doing. I'm a DJ. I've been DJing for years. And then I, sometimes I feel it's better than playing uh, at, uh, you know, the prime time, like at 12 or whatever. Because at 12, people are, uh, they're drunk. They're expecting yeah, they just want you to fuck you, shit up. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And there you can just take people on a journey. And then the yeah. guy after you comes and fucks it up. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and then but everybody goes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I did my job at the party, you mm. know, at the club. Um... I put the mood in the right place mm. so that when the headliner, which was Luciano, who's a big DJ, when he got there, it was a room full of people that are waiting. Do you know nobody him. builds anymore? Yeah, no one builds. No one builds Especially anymore. Especially in that world, it's like, fuck it, I'm here, this is what I play. Done. You Even know? here, bro. Even in Shit. SA, dude. Yeah. When uh, last did you go to a gig and someone was building for you? And they know you yeah. the headliner. Yeah. Because Coco Tapiano is going to play Kaid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the problem with my piano. Everyone is playing it, but there's not a lot of my piano coming out. You know? So, yeah. like, a lot of people start playing the same shit because that's what people want to hear. Okay, so you tell know? me about the clubbing scene that side and, 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 and what's the difference, man? The, the clubbing ladies. scene, there's people are, are there for the music, man. Like, really, really yeah, for the they're music. Yeah, they're there for the music. The dance floor is a dance floor. The VIP booths are where the couches and the. And the tables are, you know. It's a production. The sound. Yeah, everything is like, it's amazing, man. I see you, you try know? to incorporate that with your one-man shows. Like this booth is is yeah, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the if you have the DJ happy in in their working Dude. space, that's when you'll have the best sets. Mm. You know, and if the sound is proper for the people. Um, but how was it like the first gig you had in in Europe? Did like, w- weren't you scared? Did you know what you were gonna play? Did you study around, like, see what other DJs were playing at the, the time? The, the, the nice thing about, uh, about me, man, is that I, I pace my career, mm. you know, so I didn't, I didn't just wake up one day and I had a booking in Ibiza. Oh, you get me? You, so yeah. I, I started playing at s- small venues in mm. Europe, you know, building seeing what's going on mm. and that that way I was never thrown into the deep end you yeah. know um, I see a lot of guys now it's like my first gig I must be in Ibiza mm. you know and it's like yeah it's, it's cool it's, but it's a marathon yeah you need to pace yourself mm. you know um, it's not a bad thing yeah it's, it's cool you know you look at a person like Temba mm. you know the brand is like two years old now yeah, yeah. but he's playing all over around the world but yeah. he went onto the island two, three, four, five years before studying what was happening and then when he started the brand he already knew where he wanted to place himself you know mm. how he's going to uh, carry himself with, with his career and he's doing quite well right? yeah, you know? yeah. so it's about studying and I was just um, fortunate enough to start from the bottom and mm. slowly slowly moving up shit man because I haven't yeah. been to Europe I've played in Africa but not Europe yeah, so yeah. I, it's I find it fascinating, man. It's another world, and they're loving our sound. Yeah, ne? yeah, we're growing. You know, I think 
more than anything um what what black off is doing for us globally is is dope, crazy you know because people are now starting to I'm ask sure you wish you never went left to this thing now no i'm happy i did actually you know <laughs> no, i'm happy giving, i did and I, i'm i'm building my own shit yeah, you know? yeah, yeah i'm yeah. in my own lane own in lane. my like just yeah i'm i'm not going to open for anyone i'm yeah. not going to be the opening dj for another dj that's from my country when you know? did you make that decision like when I left Solistic Yeah you're like Fuck it I'm yeah, never gonna I'm open For anyone ever again I don't wanna again. be An opening DJ man I, That's not That's not where I wanna be do, man. Do, do, Does Black Off Reach out to him And be like Anton I'm proud of you You're doing well Nah he doesn't man. Serious Yeah putting it Bluntly mm. he, he never does that man. And I think It's because of The relationship That we have You know It's, it's a bit shaky Why <sighs> Exactly what yeah, yeah. The problem we had with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's exactly that, you know. And Wait, I think I'm confused. Nah, and I think it's. What it's you don't book Black Coffee anymore? He doesn't book me for his <laughs> stuff, you know. And I, they're trying to make it difficult for me to book him. He's 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 a bit expensive, obviously. Mm. And, um, and I and I, I I appreciate that, you know. And, yeah. And at some point, I was like, um, if the relationship is not working. It's it's cool, you know. Let's meet, let's greet each other. You know, let's I know that I put in a lot of effort into trying to reach out, mm. to finding out what what the problem is, you know. And when someone's just like, dude, fuck off, mm. it's like, ah, it's cool. I've I've done my part, you know. Mm. I'm one to try and fix. Mm. You know? And if you feel like you don't want to fix shit, mm. Mm. it's cool, man. But at least you know that I tried to to mend stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, Cause you guys were a good team, man. We were a fucking good team. Yo. We used to do the most, like, the craziest shit on the dance floor, man. You mm. know, our, actually, the other day I was looking at the videos from, like, 2012, 2013, yeah, 2014. Yeah. yeah, no, just carry on. Yeah. So, like, in, in 2012, 2013, we used to play, like, Back to backs together, yeah. you know, and we used to do the craziest shit, you know. Ugh. And I look at those videos and I'm like, sure, if the world would experience this today, yeah, they'd lose like, their mind because there wasn't Instagram, know. yeah, there wasn't Instagram then, you know. And I'm like, do I post this? Do I not <laughs> yeah. post this? You know, uh, yeah, you know, and I just, yeah, I just, yeah. Uh, do you think you'd still be getting ladies if you went to DJ? I think I'm a cool guy, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm chilled, you know. I'm I'm chilled. I'm not I'm not bad looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Especially now, you've lost a lot of weight. Dude. I'm I'm trying, but I'm gaining more because I've been on the road eating shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but when I get back to to being stable again in SA, I'm gonna start going back to the gym. You know. So I'd be worried if you didn't love ladies because you don't drink, you don't smoke. But you know, as DJs, we all love ladies. Uh, and Shims is the number one. Eh? Shims uh, love ladies. No, Shims are. Are you still rocking my? Stock. <laughs> Who's your stock now? Guys, your stock, boy. Hey, she be to rock my leftovers. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Imagine me being that leftover guy. <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's your love life at the moment, man? With you touring and stuff, is it does it even exist? Ah, or are you just cool, vibing, man. man? It's cool. I'm I'm just doing my thing. There's nothing serious. They, there's nothing crazy. It's yeah. just cool. Yeah. yeah. What's your type? What happened with Ken Naomi actually? Um. Yeah. What I used to know her as what was she called when she was a, a dancer, crap, a cramper. I Part don't know. What I was don't she know. called? I don't know that. She was called something else, man. Ken Naomi. She was called something else. Well, that's when I met her. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just met her like two, three. Years how, ago. how did you guys meet? Through Instagram. Is it? Yeah. You DM'd her? I actually did. I is did it? DM'd her. And what then did you just started vibing. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. And you really liked her? Yeah, I did. I did. But mm. the the situation around the situation yeah, yeah. was not the ideal situation. You know. What, did she cheat or did you cheat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ah, I was just it was just too many things, man, at the same time, man. It yeah. was yeah. You're living your best life. Man. I, I don't just, blame you, dude. Yeah, I mean You're young, you're dude, making money. Uh, I'm not making money. Yeah, it's relationships. Relationships come and go. Yeah, relationships come and go, man. Mm. And I treat every relationship in any manner, you know. Um 
It's whatever. If you have a problem with me, then have you been with the other uh, famous famous girls? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like who, my G? No, why must I say? <laughs> the fact that you don't know about them means I don't want it to be there. Like, I don't want my shit to be in public. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Even but it always ends up in public. But with the, and you're a public figure, shit. But with the Naomi thing, it yeah. was cool. No one even knew that we were dating. A lot of people didn't know that we were dating, mm. you know. Mm. Um, and... People, most people knew about it when, when she went on Twitter and she was starting to to rant, to rant, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it was like, dude, like, didn't work out. But you're a public figure, Shimi. How can you expect people not to know your shit, dude? But I want to, I want to live my life, man. I'm not gonna marry the first girl that I that I date because I'm a I'm a public figure. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna not wanna leave like live in my twenties mm. because I'm a public figure. Dude, if I wanna date someone, I should be able to. I'll start thinking about marriage when I'm like thirty four. That's have you had some international pussy? No. <laughs> You're lying, my G. I'm, I'm there for work, man. Hey, for yeah, work. you can work on the pussy too. <laughs> 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 this is why you were a fire, G. Some of us are focused. So, yeah. yeah, but that's one thing I love about you, dog. You've remained focused from the day I met you. You know, uh, like I said, we started this thing together. I was busy out there drinking, rocking the girls. Yeah. And you were focused, making money. So basically, to all the kids out there that want to get in the industry, this is what not to do. <laughs> and this is what to do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean there are a lot of people that drink and take drugs and stuff, and they're still they're still successful. You know, mm. um, I still think there's there are so many mistakes that I've made. Like even, what? Even how sober? Like ah, she me a saint. Fuck out of here. Ah, no, dog. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a saint. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do make mistakes as a person. Um, I do hurt some people. You do know, you think sometimes you put business? You value business more than friendships or relationships, yeah? No, I'd never. Mm. You know, I'd never do that. If you, but if you fuck with my business, mm. then you're fucking with my, my bread, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think the, the, the one thing that hurts me the most is if someone fucks with my bread and I think about my daughter that I still mm. need to raise, you know, it's mm. like... Oh, it's a different you, ballgame. Yeah, you know, mm. you, you, with me, yeah, sharp, you can do whatever. But if it means you are fucking with my bread so that I... You're taking food out of my yeah. daughter's mouth. Come on, man. Yeah. Then we, we're talking a different... It doesn't different matter who you are. Game. Nah, nah, nah. Mm. doesn't. Uh, I heard you on um, Kai FM. You are doing an interview with Skumba. Yeah. And you said, I like this quote. You said, um, I don't work for money. Money works for me. Yeah. Hey! That's <laughs> shit rich people say, dog. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rich. Uh, what, uh, what, 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 what you got like going on money-wise? How do you handle your money? Dog, I take too many risks sometimes. Mm. You know, I take too many risks. Because the one-man show is a risk. Ooh. The worst risk ever, man. And only now it's starting to like pick up in terms of um, like money, yeah. the money side of things, you know. And um, I, I remember when when I started, mm. you know, I had a lot of people working for when me. When you're still booking me. <laughs> you never played at my one-man show. No, I've never so, actually. Yeah, you've only played at my birthday parties, <laughs> the other stuff, you know. Yeah. You remember Chick Flick? Oh, okay. yeah! Yes, yes. That yeah. was the shit, man. And the, so, oh, yes. Yeah. Where was it? Uh, at Caprivi. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Caprivi. And then there's one we did there by Midrand, man. Shush. Yeah. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. that party, yeah, was like the ratio the was like 80-20. And I'm but that's because you were rocking, though. <laughs> <laughs> My guy was a rock star. <laughs> anyway, continue. Yeah, so yeah. with my one-man show, I used to lose a lot of money because of the people around me trying to employ people from the hood mm. and they would steal from me. You know, Trying to so, do the right thing. Yeah, so I've... I've grown to know the do's and don'ts, you know. Um, even with the business model, yeah. I had a, I had a, a problem with with the people in my hood when I cut cooler bags, when I said no under 18s mm. and stuff, you know. And that was a way for me to build a longer and more sustainable event with with yep. the show, you know, yep. where it's a cleaner event, mm. where I make all the money because I didn't I didn't understand why I must 
lose money mm. and a tops makes money out of my event gotcha. i'm booking the djs the artists the 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 stadium yeah. for you to just buy a ticket from from me for 150 mm. but spend 5000 on alcohol at tops yeah. you know so i was like tops does nothing for, for me, me yeah. you know the local um, if they were sponsoring you yeah local story. taverns are mm. not doing anything to contribute to to the show mm. so i need to i need to be selfish mm. you know and and make sure that I create an event where people buy alcohol from me. I, I have more money to book more artists so that I can give my people a better experience. I can book better production. I mm. can I can make sure that the environment is conducive for them, you know. Um, and, and the, the production's first, amazing. Yeah, the first two we the first two years I sort of struggled, man. Yeah. My 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 numbers dropped from like the 12,000, 13,000 that I used to do to about 4,000. Shit. You know? And I... And I used to, you you making the production uh, based on 12,000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I used to lose a lot of money for the for the, for for those two years, you know? Mm. But I understood that I, I need to do this for myself. You, you got to invest and in yourself. I... St- I, I I started back at 4,000 and I moved up. But now it's like people get it, you know. It's That's like why you can afford a G63. Mm, that's why the bank thinks <laughs> I can afford it. So, <laughs> <laughs> what happened with that, dude? When I heard that story, I was like, ah, this is an inside job. There's no way, dude. It's it's the weirdest thing, man. Like I was in Portugal, and I landed back in 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 SA. You know, I switched my phone on. Mm. It's a Monday, yeah. you know, and then my. Uh, Malena who, who works with me in my office mm. sends me a message she's like um, do, did you send anyone to come get the car from, from your house mm. or your equipment you know and then she deletes the message okay and right there and there I knew that something was wrong yeah. you know? so I, I call my brother calls me same time and he's like dude like your car is not in your garage you know what's going on you know I was like, what do you mean? Mm. You know, I, I don't stay in Tembisa anymore. <laughs> I feel like I stay in a secured estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live five minutes from, from, from the gate of my estate. So mm. there's like maybe a thousand other houses before you get to my house. Yeah. You know? And they just said, your car is not in the garage. I was like, guys, you're fucking with me. Mm. You know? And I drove straight to my place. I got there. The car is not there. And... No one knows how they left the estate. Wow. No one knows how they gained access to my house. Well, they broke the window and they 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 came inside. They stole a lot of shit, man. They stole mm. my... I had bought, like, CDJ 2000. Mm. They stole that, my travel bags. Damn and, dog. yeah, they took the car. Until today, the car is gone. Mm. You know, so insurance came through. They they investigated. I mean, that car's worth more than my house, dude. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they did an investigation. And till today, they also don't know. What, what do you th- What do you think? What do you think happened? I think it's it's people that 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 probably live in, live in my state. Mm. There are a lot of thugs. Okay. In there, you yeah. Know, um, and they've just been looking at me uh, Studying out, you, you yeah know, They know that I, I live alone Yeah, in house, young you boy know. I'm young They mm. can check my social media They know ah, this one is in Portugal, Portugal. You know? So they made a connection probably with the security yeah. how, how are we going to get this yeah. car out Codes, all of that shit you know? yeah. Because you've been staying at a lot of places around Like Midrand side you know? Yeah, I stayed in I st- My first place when I moved out of home was in Midrand mm, And then I moved to yeah, Qatar, And mm. then I moved to to Kailami mm. and then I moved to to this place you should have stayed in Kailami I'm safe there no one's safe though <laughs> true no one but is then safe. again I'm not driving a G63 <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm actually happy that it happened that way yeah. you know I was not home mm. they didn't find yeah, me there you weren't harmed and yeah you know because a car you can replace yeah you know? I, I pay insurance every month you mm. know and I'm and I'm happy that my insurance was like okay it's cool whatever because we'll they could have found car. you with your daughter yeah, yeah oh, and nice. kidnapped me and all that shit you know so yeah, at least they had a wound at least <sighs> yeah <laughs> well, they did to us, I <laughs> uh, let's talk about some nice stuff, man. You just recently made it on Billboard Emerging Dance Artist 2019. Yeah, that's fucking yeah, huge, yeah. bro. How it's huge is that? A dog, like it's 
it's how you play the game man, mm. and not how the game plays you you know I think people are out there looking at what's coming out of South Africa um, after seeing the success of one of our own mm. doing like big shit in the mm. world you know mm. um, so it's all eyes on us now yeah man mm. honestly speaking you know and there's a big interest in what's happening back here at home there's an opportunity for a lot of young people to be uh, making it in the in the world stage do they like you know? my piano that side they don't even know what that shit is mm. you know, they don't know what gom is to a certain extent some people have caught on to it like you know diplo did stuff with yes. with with Boma Parisa and them mm. so they do know about some of the sounds that are coming from south africa mm. but i i don't think they they've gotten onto the mapiano mm, sound yet. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So what are some of your favorite achievements? Because you get so many, man. What other ones do you like? Like, we sit back. Do you actually sit back and look at all the accolades, all the stuff that you've done? I, I, I don't look at... Nah. Yeah, I don't look at stuff, man, you know, because I... I constantly feel like I'm building every day, mm. you know, every day. There's you don't race, my G. Yeah, there's something that I'm working towards. Every day there's there's a dream that I need to 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 conquer. There's a festival that I want to play. There's a place where I want to play and I'm I'm constantly working towards those things. So when when I do um accomplish some of them, it's like, okay, cool. I've I've done that. Where to from here? Mm. Like I played Tomorrowland this year and for me it's like yeah, I need to now move up to the stages but that I saw. that's the thing, you know? That shit is dangerous, dog. You got to sit back, relax, and take it all in sometime, dog. No. It's you blessed, my G. I am. You know? I am, but I, I want to work. I know where I want to go, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to... But it's never enough, dude. It's never going to be enough. I'm telling you, it will be. For me, one day, I'll say, okay, cool. What's enough? Playing at Coachella? No, it's not even being about Coachella, man. Okay, well, Coachella is one festival that has more hype than others. Okay, there, are, there are other festivals that are like the biggest shit, you know. Okay, so when will you be happy? When I'm playing the right festivals at the right fees. Mm. Yeah, then I'll be cool. Wow. We're just trying to open overseas. This nigga's talking about right fees. <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna play for the right, the right festivals yeah. on the right lineups for the right fees. Uh, you've got a love hate relationship with Black Twitter. What was written about you on social media that was not true at all? That I I have I'm jealous of Prince KB, that I'm jealous of King Munada. King Munada? Yeah. I'm like <laughs> okay, whatever. You know, and and it's funny that I had this whole black Twitter shit with King Munada ne? and Yeah, beef with King Munada. I, it's not beef, MacGyver. Yeah. Like it's it's stupidity. <laughs> King Munada was on radio yeah. with Mo, and I'm I w- I'm very interested in what he's doing, yeah. you know. And I I asked Mo to ask him a question. I was like, please ask King Munada if he would consider jumping on other sounds, mm. you know, like doing a collaboration with a Mapiano artist mm. instead of the sound that he does, mm. you know. Okay. Then to the next day, people are like, Shimza says King Munada must change his sound. <laughs> You know, like stupid petty shit like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. King, why, why, why would I even care if King Munara changes his sound or not? Yeah. He does nothing for me. Like, he's But he, I'm noticing a trend, Shimi. And the trend I'm noticing is that with everyone, it's always stupid shit, as you yeah. always say. But you can't be, it can't be stupid shit with me, Black Coffee... Prince KB, King Manada, whoever else. Okay. Because the one common in this is you. Okay, wait, wait. Ne? From all of those things mm. that I've explained to you. Yes, yes. Which one of those do you think I'm wrong in? Well, I don't think you're wrong in any of them, depending on how you see it. But I think you are selfish and only worried about your perspective. So you don't give an opportunity to hear the other person's perspective. Yes, but I So that's why it's like, listen, it's stupid to me. Why is this happening? Why did this happen? Exactly, exactly what you say. Yeah. I, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm stupid enough to think the other person's perspective doesn't matter. Okay, right? Okay. But I will share with you how I see stuff. Yes, yes. If you don't share stuff with me of how you see it and have me say, oh shit, I might have been wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. Then... 
But that's a dialogue. That's not a communication. That's, that's what we need to have. No. Unfortunately. I, you know, it's a monologue, not a dialogue. It's a monologue. Whatever you can call it, it can be a, a pronologue. So <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But if you come to me, Shimi, and if, you say... No, MacGyver, if you... If I hear from anyone that MacGyver says you are a cunt... Yes. And I don't... I just catch feelings mm-hmm. and not come to you and say, MacGyver, I hear you saying I'm a cunt. What's wrong? What did I do? You know? And you explain to me that you finished your glass of water before I could finish mine. So I caught feelings there. Mm. And then I'll say, but I was thirsty, MacGyver. Mm. This, uh, that's why I finished my cup mm. first, before mm. yours. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. It's, mm. It had nothing to do with you. Mm. You know? You'll obviously understand, okay, cool. Nigga hasn't drunk South African water in two months. <laughs> you know? <laughs> He was thirsty. <laughs> yes. And then we move forward from that. But you can't catch feelings and not address shit. That's okay. not going to fix anything. But also, you can't do the same thing and accept different results. Hence why I'm saying, why don't you call? You can't keep SMSing and expect someone to call you. But anyway, let's not get there. Yeah. How about, instead of going and saying, listen, this is how I feel. And then that person's like, answers are ever. And then you're like, shop, I told you how I feel. How about saying, dude... What's going on? What What do you feel? But the reason why I'm, I'm texting you or reaching out is for us to speak about the problem that we have. No, you're reaching out to say, I reached out and I told him my feelings, I'm done. Dude, if I'm saying to you, if you felt offended by what I said to you. But you see, you're saying I'm, if I'm telling you. But so what must I do? Must I wait for you to come no, to me? No, what, what, what you must do, you pick up the phone. You go, hey, Prince KB. And if you don't answer? I have not answered that. It's the back to semantics. One. Semantics. Dude, like you can never... You, you call King Monada. you like King Monada. Uh, I'm hearing stupid shit is going on. I'm not going to call it beef. But King Monada had no problem with what I said because he heard the question firsthand. Okay. The so people on Twitter were the ones that were stupid enough to think I said King Monada must change his sound. Okay. Me and King and I have no beef. We cool because he understands my question. He answered it on radio. Do you think you, you've, you have any input in all of these stupid things that happened? I have input if people miscommunicated whatever happened. Mm. You know, with, with King Munada, if, if maybe I said whatever it is, I would have reacted if he, he said something on Twitter and said, yeah, I own Dry Lama Sepa or something. Mm. I would have said to him, no, dude, that's not what I meant. This is how I meant it. And it's up to him if he wants to understand how I meant it or he still wants to catch feelings. Mm. And that's why I'll say, dude, this is what I meant. If mm. I did offend you in any way, I'm really sorry. Mm. You know, let's move forward from, from that. Mm. I'm, I'm that type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. You know? But, but I, if you want to continue catching feelings, then I let you be, man. Yeah, it's your yeah. life. You choose who you want to speak to and, you, yeah. and who you don't want to speak to. Um, do you have friends in the industry? I've got, yeah, I've got. Friends. Who are your friends? I've got. What are friends, MacGyver? I must. You tell me. <laughs> what are friends? Like, if, if I speak to you every now and then, I feel like you are my friend. Do you know? Okay. Um, I do have friends, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think people. That are friends of people that know Ashley, not so much Shimza. Like, if you have someone who knows Ashley, I think I would call that a friend. Yeah, but the thing is, for you to differentiate between the two is 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 ridiculous because I, I don't have a okay, Shimza do, hat and I don't have a. Okay, Ashley do you think hat. we are friends? I think we used to be friends. Ah, you know? good one. That's be, a good answer. Yeah, <laughs> we used to be friends. You know? Yeah. 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 And it's up to us to work on the relationship. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. the shit, like, put your feelings. Yeah. In the past, yeah. to be in the past, and we move forward from there. I've never had a problem with you. As yes, a yes, yes. You know, you're the one that decided to catch feelings and not speak to me as a brother. Yeah, you know? yeah, hundred percent. And that's when, that's why, when I heard that you had a problem, I reached out. Mm, you know? And mm. if you had said, Shimza, this is what you did. I would have probably apologized, mm, you know, mm. so that we could move forward. And that's the type of person I am. No, man, I don't think there's anything. It's nothing bad. And it's, I don't think it's anything you need to apologize for. Because, I, like I said, it was just disappointing that I felt we were f- really friends. But it's like you're saying, it's business. Mm. You understand? Mm. I misunderstood the fact that you're booking me 
you booking me was a business decision. Mm. You understand? Mm. So now when it doesn't make business sense, that's when I caught feelings. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But business had nothing to, to do, do with the relationship. Exactly. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's not that deep actually. Uh, I saw, speaking about business, ne? Yeah. I saw a tweet saying, I'm the owner, the business, the boss, and the talent of my company. Um, what made you tweet that? Because I'm, I'm proud of what I've, I've achieved. You yeah. Know? I don't have a boss. Mm. I don't want to have a boss. I don't want to have someone telling me that this is what you have to do. Yeah. You know, it's like people must come to you with suggestions and you should be able to say, this is what I want to do. This is what I won't do. Or I'll do this at this term, yeah. you know. And when I treated that, I was like, I'm looking at what's what's happening around me. Mm. You know, people have have bosses yeah you know and you and you ask someone for something stupid like let's make a song yeah and they're like yeah i need to speak to my, my label mm. you know and it's like dude it's either you want to make music or not but know? also not all of us can be bosses sometimes yeah some that's why i said i am mm. i am i'm speaking about mm. myself and mm. that can that can inspire someone else mm. to want to do to be the a same boss. thing you mm. know and not feel like they need to wait till someone else um does shit for them yeah you know yeah. And um, don't you feel the need to open up the industry, you know, like Fresh and like Mosquito Do and Black Coffee before us? I, I, I do what I can. Mm. You know, I, I host workshops every year okay. at Zone 6. Um, it's free workshops. I call all the industry giants that, that can have an input on certain uh, industry problems that kids might have. Yeah. You know, and I think that's 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 one thing that I think I'm doing to open up the industry. Yeah. I'm making sure that I transfer knowledge and 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 skills to these kids mm. you know, that want to learn about it. I can't do one person at a time. Yeah. But if I can do it on a mass scale, then I'd rather do that than, than so you concentrate don't have, on So you don't even feel like one day you'd want to take someone under your umbrella? You know, like Mapuris has done with Cubs are the small... Uh, it's because I'm I'm, I'm not... I'm not here to be leeching off people. Man. Mm. Yeah, I'm not here to be using uh, like other people to to make money or yeah. whatever. You know, I'll I'll show you the right way. Okay, if make your own Gabza, money. Yeah, I'll say, Gabza, Vagoma Poris, he's the right guy for you to work with. Got you. Know? you. Um, when someone has a question, um, how do I do this? I'd rather give you the information mm. so that tomorrow you don't come back and say. Yeah, I'm signed under Shimza, but he's concentrating on himself, himself. you know, because mm. I've got my own, I've got my own goals. Yeah, I know how it feels to be signed under a label ah. and feel like you are getting the crumbs mm. more than just working for your own shit, you mm. know. So I don't want people relying on me because mm. it's think, liberating yeah, working for yourself. You know, I, I, I find it more. More nicer, man. More you feel proud of yourself yeah. when you when you go for shit and you get them. You know, yeah. um, like I look at the smallest things, man. Like I'm I'm never on 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 Black Coffee's lineup for High in Ibiza, which is one of the most biggest parties on the island. You know, every year I'm never on that lineup, but I'm happy that I've created a lot of um, interest for myself to keep going back every year so every year there's an interest to book me on that island you know and it's not because I was at the biggest party um, by someone else it's because people are looking at at me as my own self and they're like we can use this guy for for our own shit in our own way you know and I go there as one of the headliners and not as a supporting act of mm. other people you know I I, I I want to work like that, man. Like, I want to create my own shit. What would you say to Black Coffee who's sitting here right now? I would say, like, I'm really proud of, of what he has done. I'm grateful for what he's doing for us because he's opening up a lot of avenues for us, you know. Um, it would be dope to do a lot of a lot of. But it seems like together. he's opening doors for a lot of people except you. I mean, you just said yourself, you were not on the lineup. You're never on the lineup for Habibi. Yeah, he's he is, you know. And for me, I see that as a blessing because it makes me wake up every morning ah. to to chase what I want to chase. You Got know? you. Um, you're not a com you're not on a comfort zone. Yeah, it keeps me on my toes. Mm. It keeps me on my toes, and 
it helps me man yeah it helps me it's it's motivation for me every day Shit, that is dope you know to say um there are a lot of people that come from the same place as i'm as i am from mm. they getting that opportunity to be on that stage to 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 play that black coffee card to open some doors and i don't have that 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 card to play so it makes it my my opportunity man to to sort of say to other kids that come from south africa that there is another way to do yeah. it you, you you can yeah. push you can push and and really get to where you you want to get man it's it's not in anyone else's hands it's in mm. your hands you know, and it's cool man. shit man yeah. that's deep anyway cool. let's play Mary kill fuck you know the game works no it? i don't <laughs> i'm stupid <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Boy D, Nadine Kai, Rouge. Who are you going to marry kill? Who are you going to marry kill or fuck? Okay. Oh, so I need to to choose who I'm going to marry? Yeah. Kill, kill. or fuck? Yeah. Okay. I would I would marry Nadia. Nadine Kai? Yeah, I'd marry Nadia. I would I would kill Rouge <laughs> and I would fuck Boy D. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you marry Nadine Kai? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. She f- she seems like a girl that that that's that's all about the work. Yeah. Man. She wants to work. Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah let's yeah. do this, you yeah. know. And I yeah. think she's got the same the, drive as you. Even she's in, actually in like a, a female version. I, of you. I would like to think so because yeah. she's one person that will call me and say, "Shams, I saw you've put up a lineup. Um, Please put me on, mm. and I'm like, dude, Nadia asked, and people are like, ah, Nadia again. You like, yeah. <laughs> put her on, you know. And I like that about her. So yeah. it means it's someone that you can you can work with, yeah. So you heard it first, right? You're on podcast and chill. If you wanna be in Shims's lineup, just call him. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna have your number on speed dial. <laughs> You've had my number on speed dial. Um, I just haven't used it. Yeah. yeah. Bonte Mudisele, K Naomi Omisali. Who would I? Mary kill fuck. Uh, Kamo, Kena Yomen who? Ki Bontle Murisele, Kena Yomen Mistali. Bontle, who's that? Uh, Bontle man, she's a dancer man. Oh, Bontle dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I'd marry Bontle. Okay, I would marry. I would marry um, Kamo. Who's Kamo now? Ha uh, ah. Uh, Mudisel, Mudisa King, Mudisel. That's why I'm. I'm hey, yeah. Hey. Cool. I would marry Bunte. Uh-huh. I would. I would. Um, I definitely kill Naomi. <laughs> but who's the other one? <laughs> Mitali. Yeah, I would. Oh shit! I'd marry Mitali. Yeah. yeah fuck Bunte <laughs> and kill Naomi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mitali is hot. Eh? Yeah. You had to risk it all for her. Nah, you, you, yeah. What? <laughs> she was the better option to marry because I don't know shit about her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Neither do I. Okay, last one is Pearl Tusi, DJ Zintle, Lerato Khanyaho. Uh, I'd kill Lerato because she's too loud, but I love her. You know? <laughs> I'd, I'd fuck Pearl and marry Zintle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Zintle's marriage material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. Cool. She's Pearl cool. looks like a good fuck, though. Woo. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> says. <laughs> My dog, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, this man. is the longest podcast we've had, you know? Yeah. Uh, mainly because, you know, it's been a long time. And it was, for me, it felt like a catch up session more yeah, than yeah, anything, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, what are you busy with now? You going back to Portugal or Greece? Wait, what did you say you're going? Yeah, I'm doing Greece next week. Yeah. Uh, I've got Bali. I've got a whole Africa tour that I'm doing. So, it's a lot of shit, man. We, I just, I just what keep What do you working, like playing man. outside of the country? And as anywhere in Europe, man, people mm-hmm. in Europe are, are dope. Like yeah. they, they, they can in America, party. Have you, have you done no, America? I haven't really cracked America. Yeah, but yeah. And then, uh, so you're busy with the remix for Aman Tomazan? Yeah, yeah, do yeah that, I'm right? gonna work on that nice. quite soon. But I'm not gonna put it out if it's not hot. Yeah, because that song is super hot, man. Shit, did please tell people we uh, 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 learned how to produce together? Yeah, Cuba's, with Cuba. Yeah. You know, I had a fallout with Cuba as well. Where? No, who haven't you had a fallout with? This because guy. Cuba felt I did not book him for my gigs. No, Shimza, Shim, you need to uh, slaughter a cow. Uh-uh. <laughs> you guys should just stop catching feelings. 
<laughs> and when you catch feelings, call me up, dog, yeah. and say, dude, you are fucking up, yeah. you know. And I appreciate that when people do that, you mm. know, like when someone calls and says, boy, you are fucking. I could up. have done that. I yeah, never did that. I know, never did that. Like. I only you did have that now that you know we've got this thing. Yeah, I mean even with with like Mahrotman, you mm. know, like I look at like the black coffee situation and I'm like, dude, I I was in my twenties. I think we we had a fallout when I was like twenty six, twenty seven, you know, and I feel so hurt that this guy should be a hurt man that's able to call me or even give me a fucking slap dog and mm. say you are fucking up mm. you know mm. this is what you need to do and mm. that's that's one thing that I've learned about life that if if there's a young boy that's that's out there we're going to make mistakes man mm. but don't be that guy when I try to reach out to apologize or whatever you just tell me to grow the fuck up you mm. know mm. It's, it's not how we should be raising each other but yeah, people have their own reasons and how they want to deal with situations. Yeah. And the only thing you can do is just try and work on them. Yeah. And if they still push back, you you let I it mean, go, look, man. Look, if we can resolve our shit after the stuff I've said about you. Yeah, nothing <laughs> you can't like there's nothing you can say you can't resolve. Man. Yeah. Just yeah. speaking and being honest with each other. Yeah. You know open is, dialogue, not yeah. a monologue, dialogue. Exactly. Okay. You know, sit me down, say you fucked up here and there You hurt me here and there mm. When you did this Did that And I'll say You hurt me when I was there You know If Ken Oimi does that You guys will reconcile I have no problem with anyone man mm. If if anyone Is willing to apologize For any mistake that they've done Was she a good lady though? She was She's 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 cool <laughs> She's cool <laughs> In your top five? Yeah definitely is. Wow. Yeah, yeah. wow Yeah I liked her man Yeah I liked her It was just Life happened. Yeah, life happened, man. I was at a point where I still probably am, where I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, yeah. we can go back, we can go forward, but it's allowed, man. I'm fucking, I just turned 30. Well, I, I need to. Shimmy, you 30? Yeah, I'm 30 fucking now. I only shimmy. turned 30 in in May. You I know? made you when you were like 18, 19? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So at, at this age, this is when I can start talking about serious shit, yeah, about marriage and shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But in my 20s, man, I'll make all the mistakes I can and I should and be right learning so, from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have every right to. Yeah. Um, and then you're starting your one-man show. You're already starting with the lineup. Yeah, Am yeah, Am I yeah. on it? You can't be. It's a one <laughs> DJ show, one-man show, you know? <laughs> and I have performances. But yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do stuff with you yeah. um, leading up to the show. Perfect. You know, I've got a venue that I'm opening in Tembisa. Oh, nice, yeah, nice, so nice, we, nice, nice. We're working, man. You yeah. know, my one-man show has gone international now. I've got small shows that I'm doing in different countries. And we're just pushing, man, yeah. trying to make sure that we... Listen, man, like you said, you know, push. when you're young, we make mistakes. But when I look at you, even though you're younger than me, um, you know, you inspire me a lot, you know? Sure. Because uh, um, you've showed me, like, what focus... Hard work and talent can lead to sure. You understand? Sure, sure. You know, because I'm, I'm, I've got the talent, but I lacked a lot of focus. Um, hard work was there, yeah, but there wasn't any focus. You sure, know? sure. And you know, it's something that I had to go through in my twenties, and now I to am learn focused. From. Yeah, yeah, to learn from you yeah, know. But everything yeah. that I that happened, I'm reaping the rewards now. Sure, you know what I'm sure, saying? Sure. Uh, because like for something like this, you have to be focused. Yep. To 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 yeah, and I like think this. you you've you've grown, you've grown, you know, and and I'm sure there are a lot of older people that look out look out for you, mm. and when you fuck up, they sort of call you to say, "Donna, you are." No, there's no one actually. There's no one. No, no, not no. even Dumelo from Y has oh, never yeah, called Dumelo, you. Yeah, Dumelo, you know? yeah, Dumelo, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah. I know some people <laughs> that have tried to speak to you. I know Mo has tried to reach out and fuck Mo, man. Mo okay. can eat a dick. Okay. Yeah. He'll be here next week, guys. <laughs> the next episode of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, boy. Really, keep doing what you're doing, man. Thanks. And yeah. Man. I want to see at Coachella thanks. at the right rate, right rate, at the right stage. Yes. The right rate with the right lineup. Why don't you ever work with any other like David Guetta and those guys? 
they not in my line of mm. of, of planning you know i i have no dreams of having a song with a beyonce or mm. a rihanna you know? mm. if it does happen it will happen but yeah. for me it's like that's not a dream for me i just yeah. want to build who shimza is yeah yeah all right shimmy love you long time cool. thanks bro. uh cuba call shimmy tell him ah, why we, you I'm done with i'm done with mazaza <laughs> we resolved our shit <laughs> I don't have anyone else that I've got any proof with. Yeah. yeah. Love you long time, Thanks, Doug. Bro. Sweet, Sean. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.